Happy Monday. Listen, look what I have this morning. Factor Meals Deliver. So before I unbox this, let me just tell you that I had seen these ads online for Factor Meals and, you know, portion control, heat and eat, you know, all those kind of things, meals on the go, kind of like, you know, meal prep, right? And so me being empty nester, single woman, oftentimes I really don't want to cook big meals or whatever. So when I was at the retreat a couple of weeks ago, one of the attendees was telling me all about she gets factor meals, she really loves them, all that, right? So I figured that I would give it a try since I've seen it, you know, people talking about it on, uh, on social media. So, and there was a discount. So I think for this entire first week, it, I have six meals because they'll ask you how many you want. So I was thinking, you know, six meals, I might use one a day or, you know, depending on when I'm working, you know, like there will be a couple I can bring to work, whatever. So we'll see how this works out. And they also had a vegan veggie menu. So that's what sold me, right? And the price for the initial offer. So let's see what this looks like. I'm going to open it up and they brought it, today is a Monday, and they put it right on my front porch. So when I got off work this morning, it was all here for me. So let's see how it comes packaged, and then I'll give you updates as I, you know, eat them during the week. Girl, it's hard on opening a box. All right, so let's see what we got here. Factor, you can also take a photo of this card and send it for your friend. Oh, so if you guys want it, uh, are interested, let me know. I will put a code down below. So this is definitely insulated. Just want to be mindful. You see this? It's insulated package. It feels cold. There is a pack of hard ice sitting right on top. Oh, I'm so excited. So all insulated, this whole box is insulated, and here we have our meal. So there were three that I picked, and I think they give you two of each. Um, let me see if it has it on here. So I had the Thai, y'all know, what do y'all know? Do y'all know on this channel? I love Thai food. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever said that here. I can't remember all these videos, but your girl loves Thai food. So anyway, this is Thai roasted veggie, vegetable green curry. Uh, same one, so two of those. I've got two vegetarian tamale bowls, which is with spice, sweet potatoes, and pickled jalapeno crema. Crema, all right, all right, all right. Now, um, this is another vegetable tamale bowl, and this is mushroom marinara lasagna so basically it was kind of when i saw it, it was kind of like a uh, mushroom type lasagna ish pasta dish y'all know i love pasta if you don't know now you know okay and this is the second one the pasta marinara les lasagna with shredded mozzarella garlicky broccolini and red pepper this sounds really good this is probably gonna be the first one that i try so yeah so that's an unboxing and i'm just gonna show you guys how it comes prepared that's another ice pack down at the bottom sitting right on my front porch early monday morning so i'm gonna get rid of that because i ain't got time to hang, handle that those ice packs <laughs> i don't need those i'm gonna put these in my freezer and so yes that is the delivery of my factor prepared meals and so um i'll keep you guys updated as i try them out it's an amazing day Monday afternoon, 439. We 
out in the streets. 76 degrees. Yeah. Okay. So, of course, I worked last night, Sunday night. Got off this morning. I didn't get off until 8. So, you know, kind of the usual routine. Talk to my mom till I make it home. Then I talked to Troy for a little bit. We kicked it on the phone for probably about 40 minutes. I love it when the kids are grown and you can have, you know, really good conversations with them. It's great. Um, and then I went on and, you know, I probably didn't get to sleep till like close to 11. <clears throat> Set my clock for two. I just had a therapy session um, at 3.30. And so that went well. It's been like a month since I had my session. And um, I'm good, right? So we are, um, so it's going to be like an ad needed, you know, check-in basis. So really good. Love my therapist. Um, you know, sometimes if you've had an experience with therapy, um, you know, you may change therapists for different reasons or different seasons or, or whatever, but she was just absolutely great. So, um, feeling in a good space in that way today. Oh, they have on down the golf course out here today. Why well, they got a group out there? Um, so yeah, I'm just leaving home and I am getting ready to run a couple errands and I'm meeting a girlfriend for coffee at six. So it's 441. I got a couple errands. I got to get some gas. I'm going to run the car through the car wash. I still haven't done that yet. <laughs> but I'm going to do it today because the car is loaded with pollen. It's almost futile, but, you know, you just have to do it. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to grab um, something to eat, maybe, and make my way to uh, our, we're going to have coffee at 6. So that's all I have and then I got some office work when I get back tonight to do and follow up on and uh, yeah and I'll be getting me a nice good night's sleep so I'll check in with you guys um, maybe perhaps when I uh, meet my girlfriend for a coffee or somewhere in between but I did want to check in just leaving the house 442 Monday evening Good evening. It is Monday night at 9.21. And I'm back at home after... What time did I talk to y'all? <laughs> oh, at therapy, yeah. After ran my errands and met my girlfriend at Starbucks at six o'clock had a great time of fellowship so we talked for gosh about two hours two and a half hours and so i'm just getting back home and i'm just going to wind down a little bit and um, i have some reading i want to do tonight and um you know i want to get some good rest because i did not sleep very long today maybe like 11 to 2 o'clock so that's only like four hours and so i'm gonna get a good night's sleep i have pt tomorrow morning at 8 45 so that's gonna that's add it to the schedule but nevertheless we'll make it do what it do so i just wanted to come in back at home um great time of fellowship with my girlfriend so i'm just um so blessed to have so many amazing women um in my life and i'm so so super grateful so today was a good day um i forgot to mention in in the last time that i came on when I got home this morning from work, I did a little mini workout. Oh, that hurts him. A little mini workout. Um, so I did some ab work, did some jumping jacks, and actually did some bicep work, some arm work. Minimal because of my shoulder, but I did get a little bit of workout in. So I did feel, <laughs> I did feel like I did a little something today and some lunges too. I did them right at home here. I do have some weights and stuff. So I did do that. So I do feel like I had a pretty productive day. So tomorrow after PT, uh, based on the weather, I will either go take a walk or go to the gym. I'm not really sure. It depends on, you know, got to kind of go with the flow, depending on what the timing is and all of that. So, and then I have to work tomorrow evening. So and I'll be going out of town at the end of the week. 
So I'm looking forward to that. Keep you guys posted with that. And um, we'll call it a night or, or at least, you know, a little bit. I'm going to take a shower, wind down, get some reading done, like I said. And uh, I will catch you guys in the morning. Peace. It's an amazing day. Happy Tuesday. It's Tuesday morning, April 9th at 1022. I have just le I left PT. I had physical, my actual first physical therapy appointment today. Last week I had like my evaluation or assessment. So today I you know, had an 845 appointment got in there and boy they are working this shoulder you hear me okay i'm just saying but anyway so i was there for an hour and it's interesting it's a, we did weight work on the shoulder and ooh. anyway i'm here at the park <laughs> to get in uh, hopefully a couple of miles um and then you know i have to work today so it's 10 22 probably be out here maybe close to an hour hopefully not hopefully not an hour, maybe a little over, maybe like 40 minutes or so. I'm just going to get two miles in. I need to go home and I need to maybe do at least 30 minutes of office work. I've got some retreat, I, you know, I keep telling you guys some follow-up stuff. Hang on, that's my girl. It's an amazing day. Mm. <laughs> I'll get that note right sooner than later. Happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday afternoon, 425. I'm just getting out the house. But you know, I've been up for a while. You know the drill. I worked last night. Um, 3P to 7 a.m. this morning. Came home, took a nice hot shower. Um, pretty much went to, went to bed. I feel like I did something. But pretty much went to sleep. Slept maybe to around noonish. Did some editing and things of that nature. Um, went over some finances and uh, now I'm out and about I just want some Chick-fil-A and you know when I go to Chick-fil-A you know I'm a vegetarian it's only fries but I just feeling like I want fries so that's where I am headed so I don't know this isn't really dinner I guess snack or something of that nature we call it I guess I don't know. but anyway I'm gonna get some Chick-fil-A um, I need to have, I have a box I need to drop off at the Goodwill and I actually have some calls to make, but I'm going to sit in the car. It's such a beautiful day. It's 79 degrees. So since I'm out, I'll probably pull over and make a couple of calls after I have my Chick-fil-A and take it from there. I don't go to work until tomorrow afternoon um, at three. So tonight, you know, I'm always excited about getting a good night's sleep, but we cannot go to bed too early, right? So, yeah, so I'm excited. I am scheduled to go out of town this weekend. So I'm really looking forward to that. And so I need to pack tonight because I leave Friday. And um, I need, I leave Friday, but you know, I have to work tomorrow. So I need to have everything in place. Um, yeah, so. Yay me, yay me. So that's all I have for the moment. Um, Y'all, I'm loving this weather. I am telling you, it is 77 degrees. Now my car is full of pollen. And I just been debating, I was supposed to wash it, what, I think I've said it on the video, like two or three days ago each time, but then it looks like it's half raining and all of that. So we'll see. We'll see what we do. Maybe, maybe when I come back from going out of town I'm not sure but we'll see so that's what I have now my phone actually is dying I need to charge it up so I uh, just wanted to touch base but I will touch base with you in a little bit um, yeah so Wednesday afternoon 428 moving through the week I was super busy yesterday at work they got every single dime out of me I just want you to know <laughs> every single dime um, but even when it's busy, it's still not bad. I have amazing staff that I work with. And um, so, you know, I really, I'm not complaining at all. <laughs> but they, they got it. Oh, they got they had to work out of me yesterday. So anyway, let me char recharge up my devices. And um, I will catch you guys in a few. It don't matter. The makeup do not want to stay. 
I just ate. I just had my fries. Bring eat my cookies sitting here. And where did the sun go? I just came outside and the sun is gone. But anyway, before I get to my calls, I'm gonna make while I'm sitting here. Right after I eat my cookie. Listen, y'all. Y'all know these gray hairs are so disrespectful. They don't want to lay down. They don't want to stay down. You know, they don't want to do the right thing. <laughs> What's up with that? Wow card. Wow card. Anyway, I just wanted to quickly check back in. I'm going to eat my cookie. You know, we went to Chick-fil-A. This is water. I always get like a cup of ice because I keep my own water in the car because I don't like all types of water. So I don't like sink water. <laughs> right. I will drink Starbucks, you know, cause they have filtered water if I'm, you know, in a buy, but I just keep a case in my trunk and I, I like Deer Park, you know, that's middle ground. It's not high priced, but I'm real finicky when it comes to to my water and I drink a lot of water so I always get a cup of ice and then I just add my own water to it okay so there's another little <laughs> that little tidbit about me so anyway yes let me make these calls and um 5 10 I'll probably be done in maybe 40 minutes or so and then I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna start packing because like I said earlier, you know, as I'm thinking in my head too, <clears throat> I, um, yeah, I need to, I need to pack, at least pull my things out, get some things in order for my trip. So yeah. All right, so I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Wednesday evening at 9 13. oh child i've been trying to pack and <laughs> look it it's always a thing you know uh, i actually brought my suitcase out here in the uh, living room area den area to pack this time so that uh i didn't have to put my suitcase on my bed and all that and I can kind of, you know, put things in it as I go along. And I'm always trying to travel light, but I always want to add stuff. And um, I'm going to Connecticut because when you guys see this video, I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. But I'm going to Connecticut. So I am driving up and um, I'm renting a car. So I'm picking up and um I'm going to be stopping halfway in Delaware, spending the night in Delaware, and then driving forward. So this is going to be a little mini solo trip, but I'm headed to see my mom and uh, my nieces. And I'll be up there uh, about three and a half days. So I'm really, really excited. And the thing about it is you never know what the weather is going to be because they had snow showers last week. Okay, so this is April. Today is April 10th, I think. Just last week, they had snow showers. Now, we're not trying to do that. Um, so, you know, I want to dress accordingly, make sure I have a variety of, you know, outfits depending on what we do. So, um, so yeah, I am so looking forward to it. Just getting on the road and relaxing. I personally like to drive. Um, not super long like I used to, but I, I like to drive. It's a it's a healing time for me. I put on podcasts, music, or talk to the Lord, or whatever the situation may be, as long as there's not a lot of traffic. And so um, I'm planning the trip so that I can break it up um, and, you know, just enjoy a little me time on the way as well. So I'm really excited about that. And of course, I'll take you guys along um, for the ride and all the experiences of that. So um, yeah, looking forward to that. But this packing thing, listen. So, you know, I have a sedan. My car says sedan, so I'm renting an SUV. So I can just throw everything in the back. <laughs> throw everything in the back and, um, you know, roll with it. So, yeah. Trying to concise a little bit. And that's about it. Um, Y'all know the routine. Y'all know how it go down. 
Let me hear you. What's next? Hot shower. <laughs> a little reading. And then we're going to wind down, right? So, um, yes, I just wanted to check in. The sliding is not the best, but, you know, I just ended up here for a second. But um, that's all I got. I just wanted to come and share with y'all. And uh, tomorrow is physical therapy in the morning. Um, depending on what time I get. So it should be, you know, I think I'm kind of gauging a schedule. I should be out of there by 930. Um, I'm getting picked up to pick up my car at 1130. So that's going to be tight. I don't know if I'm going to make it to the gym or not, or just take a walk. I may just walk like I did the last time getting something in. Um, I think the weather's supposed to be decent, so we'll cross that bridge as we get there um, because I am going to be leaving Friday morning. So I want to make sure I have everything that I need, and I do need to pick up something for my mom. I want to, something I want to bring her, so take to her when I go. So we'll see, but that's the game plan, but I'm getting ready to wind down, take a nice hot shower, and do a little reading and call it a night so I can get a good night's sleep get up in the morning do my thing be a pt at you know i could work out a little bit here in the morning we'll see um uh 8 45 have to be at pt and then 11 30 to pick me up from my vehicle come back and then i have to work tomorrow so what i am doing this time is i am going to get off friday morning going to come home i'm going to shower and i'm going to drive to Delaware. If I get tired, I'll just stop. But I want to get past the traffic because when I went to Connecticut last year and I drove, which when I go to Connecticut, I like to drive and that's a whole nother story. Um, but um, I left, like I came home and went to sleep first and then I drove and I hit all the afternoon Friday traffic. So I'm not about to do that. Um, I am gonna Starbucks it up latte it up and we're going to get on up the road if i get tired i know how to just pull over and relax for a second um but so i can just get on to the hotel and get past all the main things because the traffic thing i'm not for that that is that's what's exhausting so um that's the plan and I, like i said you guys when you see this i'll already be back so whatever <laughs> but anyway um i'll take you guys along with me so have a good night or i mean i'll see i'll talk to you guys tomorrow <laughs> Night-night. It's an amazing day. It is Thursday morning. Happy Thursday. <laughs> we are headed to physical therapy. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I um, did, well, let's see. I went to sleep. Between 10 and 11, not sure exactly what time, but I know I was probably asleep by 11, but I woke up at like um, 2, 2.10, something like that. And I probably didn't go back to sleep till three o'clock. Um, super frustrating. I was hungry. <laughs> um, yeah, so I ended up uh, set my clock for six because I wanted to make sure I got up in plenty of time. So I actually probably got out of the bed about 6.30 and, uh, you know, got ready. And so I'm headed to PT. It's 8.19. I have to be there. Uh, my appointment's at 8.45, so I'll probably be there just a couple minutes early. And that's fine. It's overcast this morning, looking like it's going to rain. I think we're expecting some showers this afternoon. Um, so that's that. Planning accordingly. After physical therapy, I have... Uh, two quick errands to run and as I think I said in the previous uh, yesterday is um, I have to pick up the rental car today so and then come back and try and rest hopefully that process will go quickly um, I haven't rented a, rented a car in a couple of years so but the process should be the same and um, yeah take a little rest rest a little bit before work and then I go and uh, pull my 16 tonight so that's the plan for today and um, I feel rested though even though I woke up at three in the morning so I didn't look at my uh, 
um, smartwatch to see exactly how many hours I slept. So I have to check on that. But I think I've been doing, you know, no, no. Last week was a, a wrap. Let, you know, mm -mm. so <laughs> I was gonna say I think I've been doing pretty good. But no, last week all that work in, I know I didn't get in adequate, ad, adequate, adequate sleep. But um, you know, we just do what we do. I mean, I feel pretty good. So that's the main thing. The main, keep the main thing. The main thing. So I uh, just wanted to check in this morning, Thursday morning, headed to physical therapy. Um, you know, we got to get this shoulder right, as I was saying, and we're just taking one step at a time. That's all we can do, right? And it's a little busy out here this morning, you know, the rush hour traffic. Oh. So, anywho, I'll check in with you guys a little bit later. Y'all, I am, that is a whole workout. <laughs> PT is a whole daggone workout. I mean, I get it. But I am showing improvement already, which is great. Um, one of the things about PT, I, you know, I, I want to get better. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not coming here wasting my time to play. It's tough. Some of the exercises or maneuvers they want you to do, but... I want to get better so but let me tell you kid you uh, 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 it is not I mean it is a workout you hear me and then you know they finish up with my therapist will put heat on uh, put the little electrodes on like the stimulators and or heat or cold so um, my last two well the assessment day which was last week and earlier this week we did heat and then today she put cold on but you know y'all know i'm cold natured so i don't like cold i don't like cold anything but i mean you know <laughs> i'm gonna comply i guess there's maybe a balance I, I don't know but she didn't ask me today she just put the cold on it but nevertheless um so i um am i had a little coffee this morning but i got a couple errands to run so i'm gonna grab a quick coffee from Starbucks <laughs> I'm gonna have a quick coffee, a small coffee from Starbucks run these couple errands and I need to be back uh, in my house within an hour or so so I just wanted to check in with you guys um, whoo child this, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a uh, this next 24 hours are gonna be muy interesante however we are on the road. We're going to be on the road tomorrow. I'm so excited. Nice little getaway. Nice little change of scenery. Nice little split up, you know, the trip. And, you know, dinner tomorrow evening. Going to do something. And so I'm, I'm just, I'm just so looking forward to it. Um, but the next, you know, 20, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, I don't know, 20 hours or so. <laughs> we got to get through so nevertheless I just want to check back in with you physical therapy we're showing a little progress but you know what it's so I just think physical therapy is amazing so if you're a therapist shout out to you um, because the intricacies that they learn about the muscles and the bones and maneuvering and manipulation is just really really incredible and it reminded me my daughter Gabby was a competitive gymnast for 10 years, you guys. So from three to 14, right before high school, she was in gymnastics and she competed from early age, maybe six or seven. Um, so there was a situation or a time period where she was having some problems with her back. And so she had to go to therapy. And it, and it was amazing because when they evaluated her, it wasn't actually her back. It was, oh, this is interesting. I'm gonna make a point in a second. Um, it was actually her shoulders. So she was so tight in her shoulders that, you know, when you're um, doing flips, cause you know, that's where she was doing back handsprings and back tucks and all those type of things. Well, when you hit the floor, the impact, if you don't have flexibility in your shoulders, then the impact or the momentum affects your back, 
right? Because, you know, you typically you have to sort of push off. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, on the floor. So, you know, I remember back then, this is, you know, many years ago, maybe mm, seven, eight years ago now that I was talking with the therapist when she was in therapy and he was, you know, explaining to explaining to me so they were actually working on her shoulder mobility and you know loosening up these shoulder muscles and all of that and strengthening that area um to prevent the impact of the back i mean i just think the science is incredible y'all know i'm a nerd so listen i absolutely love it and just to see her prog prog her progress at that time and just watch as certain muscle groups and things stretched and changed and all of that was incredible and um you know, she did therapy. I don't remember how long it was. I don't know. Probably a month, I want to say. But, you know, she was, you know, back to competing. I mean, she had never stopped competing, but she was, you know, back and better, if you will. Um, so, I'm looking to be back and better. Okay? So, let's pray for continued progress of this right shoulder. Because um, we got things to do around here. You know what I mean? <laughs> things to do i just think it's incredible it is absolutely incredible um the science of it all and um i love it i absolutely love it so i'm out here it's overcast i was thinking about walking but i what i'm not gonna do is get caught in the rain that's out plus it's 10 12 i can't walk in run these couple of errands too so that's not gonna work um this is so interesting my you know my mom is in connecticut and uh, my mom is 84 and maybe I'll post a picture of her. Um, she's 84. She turned 84 in January. And listen, sharp as I don't know what, right? It's so much fun. I talk to her at least every other day. And so I'm really excited to go and see her because let me tell you something. There is no place like home. There is no place like seeing your mommy, <laughs> right? As a 55 year old. Yes, my mommy. <laughs> I want to go see my mommy. Um, but. Um, my niece does a great deal of her, like, you know, her grocery shopping and things of that nature. And they do not have, or, or my niece cannot find Hungry Jack pancake mix. Isn't that interesting? Hold, please. Uh, no food today. All right, what about that drink? That drink. <laughs> Can I have a, uh, I'll just have a tall coffee. Um, with steamed coconut milk, please. Absolutely, with steamed coconut milk. And did you have a preference between a medium roast or a dark roast or the blonde? Um, oh, blonde would be great. I haven't had that in a while. Yeah, I got you. So yeah. we'll do a tall blonde with a little bit of steamed coconut milk. Any sugar in there? Um, let's just do one sugar, one raw sugar. One raw sugar. All right. Well, that'll be it for you today. Yep, be it. Yep. All right. We'll see you at the window. Thank you. No problem. All right, I'll pause. Short straw, please. Thanks. Have a great day. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Hold the line, please. <clears throat> I deleted some of my apps and um, uh, some unused apps, but then, like, where you have your apps. You're normally looking for your apps. Now they are all rearranged, right? So it takes a second. Uh, okay, so I want to like my card back. Woo! Let's get this Starbucks in the system, baby. Alrighty. Okay, so what was that saying? I was talking about physical therapy. Yeah, just incredible. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, you know, getting the shoulder right and, you know, doing what I need to do um, to get better. And then from that point, I'm gonna definitely 
try and you know stay strong in that area because I don't know I don't know if that has something to do with it as your muscles get weaker or, or if we don't um, I don't know I don't know how it go but we're gonna get it right Lord willing we're gonna get it right so I'm gonna get it right oh come on which way you going buddy you going <laughs> Oh. All right. All right, baby. Well, I love the steam coconut milk. Oh, that's good. That's just right. I've been cutting back on the sugar or trying to you know certain situations so <sighs> all right guys i'm gonna um press on to a couple stores and i'll check in with y'all in a little bit Deuces. okay so i forgot i was saying before that or did i finish it <laughs> i'll check it in editing but um i was saying before that my my niece does my mom's um grocery shopping for her like and you know runs her errands and my niece has not been able to find Hungry Jack pancake mix. Isn't that crazy? So I picked that up for my mom. Um, got her a couple boxes because she likes to make it for herself. And, you know, she's 84, so she just wants to add water and keep on moving. So I guess they've just been having a problem uh, finding that for her. So I found them. And, um, yeah, I just thought that was odd that... You know, but you know, but, but what I have found though in my travels in different areas of the country, um, and I've been mostly living in Virginia for the past, you know, 30 ish years, but um, I've also lived in New York and Savannah, so that's the south, right? And of course, Connecticut, and you know, in different areas there's different products you know some products you just don't even find in the the whole country you only find it in certain areas i mean it's kind of just like um certain chains of food or grocery stores etc so um but i just thought hungry jack was like um you know popular or i don't know but anyway they couldn't find it so i found it i got it and um bring my mom a couple boxes that'll last her a while because she only makes uh you know makes them for herself um occasionally so all right one more errand then i gotta get back to the house and they're coming to pick me up to go and get my pick up my rental so check that out. okay we're gonna try this factor meal it says heat and eat in two minutes let's give it a shot
Okay, let's try this again. It smells like chipotle. That's what it smells like. So it's a vegetarian tamale bowl with spiced sweet potatoes and pickled jalapeno crema. Now this has one tray is one serving size, so it has 510 calories, um, 26 grams of fat, 10 grams of saturated fat, no trans fat, 35 milligrams of cholesterol. Now this is what I do not like. And this is going to be huge for me. 890 milligrams of sodium. Now, we're not eating these every single day. So, you know, and that's the disadvantage. It has 12 grams of protein. Um, convenient, yes, but sometimes any prepared food, you guys, has a lot of sodium. And so, all right, let's give it a taste. Let's try. Let's see. This is still not warm enough. I can't do cool. All right, let's try this again. Oh, we got some heat on it. We got some heat on it. It's interesting. Almost like it's a little. Let me just show you. Okay, so we've got on this side kind of like the corn and beans, and then you see that the sweet potatoes on the other side. So let's see. I'm not sure if this is a little cornbread in here. Soup. Okay, tastes okay. All right, let's now the sweet potatoes. Let's see. Which I would have never really put these together, but On a scale of one to ten, let me see. Y'all had it, I'm finicky. Hold on, <laughs> hold on a second. I'm gonna give it like a seven. I'll give it a seven. I mean, I could eat it. So I'll enjoy it. Um. I'm going to eat it and I'm going to eat them all. However, and this may have said it on the site, so I'm not saying this is a surprise. I didn't do all my due diligence. You know, I ordered, I had a um, coupon, you know, I wanted to try these out. I had seen all the ads for it, but the sodium, um, you know, I don't see it. I don't see the nutritional value here. Like I don't see it any different than fat, like a fast food. You know, when you look at 510 calories, if you're on a 1400 calorie diet, I mean, I'm not counting calories, but I'm just saying, I think that's a lot. Um, you got some saturated fat, you got fat in here, you've got 35 milligrams of cholesterol, you've got a lot of sodium. So if you have high blood pressure or any of those problems, I would not recommend eating these regularly. Um, it has some sugar in it, 15 grams, 12 grams of protein, okay. Um, so, all right, well, let me enjoy it and just giving you a little info. Um, not sure if I will record the next one I eat because I'm sure I'm going to be spacing these out and I'll be going to, I'm um, going on vacation. I'm not going away for a little bit. I'll give it a seven. Finicky. So this purpose. All right, check y'all a little later. Okay, great afternoon. Um, I've picked up my rental. It's Tuesday afternoon, 2.20. I'm headed to work, but I just wanted to check in. I'm in a Jeep, something, some little Jeep. But anyway, <laughs> starting to rain, but I just wanted to come in really quickly. Um, get ready to head on to work. Y'all know how we do. And I'll touch base with you guys in the morning before I get on the road. And hopefully today is not too busy. 
and um, yeah the goal is to be on the road tomorrow morning um, by 9 a.m so uh, uh, we'll touch base with you guys in a little bit